and welcome to Mastermind with me, John Humphreys. Our subjects include the American, whose face is on the $10 bill, a series of books featuring a child genius, the painter, whose works have sold for record sums, and the racy life of Lord Nelson's mistress. Two minutes on those subjects, 30 seconds extra in the general knowledge round, and that's the one the contenders get really nervous about because they've no idea what's coming. So, let's get on with it and ask our first contender to join us, please. And your name is? Lena Gazy. Your occupation? I'm retired. And your chosen subject? Emma Lady Hamilton. Ah, the infamous mistress of the great Lord Nelson himself. Two minutes on her starting now. In which city is the Palazzo Sessa, where Emma went to live with her future husband, Sir William Hamilton, in 1786? She met Horatio Nelson in the same city seven years later. Nettles. Yes. Emma's original surname was Lyon, but by the time she became Charles Greville's mistress, she had adopted what surname? Heart. Yes. What name was given to the innovative form of performance art created by Emma while she was living in Naples in which she wove together a series of dramatic poses into a narrative? Attitudes. Yes. What was the name of the London musical and theatrical impresario in whose household she is believed to have worked as a housemaid in the late 1770s? He was the father-in-law of the playwright Richard Sheridan. Thomas Lindley. Yep. Engravings of a German artist's drawings of Emma performing her attitudes were published in 1794. Which artist? Frederick Rayburg. Yep. Emma became a close friend of the Queen of Naples, who was a sister of Marie Antoinette. What was her name? Maria Carolina. Yep. What was the name of the supposed medical establishment founded by Dr James Graham that Emma is said to have worked at? It featured a celestial bed that was claimed to assist childless couples to conceive. The Temple of Health. Yes, she gave birth to her first child, also called Emma, in 1782, who is generally believed to have been the child's father. Sir Harry Featherstone Howe. Yes, Emma became the mistress of Sir Harry around 1780 and is said to have danced naked on the dining room table during parties at his mansion in Sussex. What was its name? Up Park. Yep. Which artist painted Emma many times between 1782 and 1791, including a famous portrait of her as Circe? Romney. Yep. Nelson returned to England in 1800 to a hero's welcome alongside Emma. In which town did they land? Naples. Yarmouth. What was the name of Nelson's wife with whom Emma had an understandably difficult relationship? Fanny Nisbet. Yes. Which country house in Surrey was the only property left to her in Nelson's will after his death at Trafalgar in 1805? Merton. Yep. At the beginning of 1813, she was heavily in debt and lived in lodgings in the rules, an area that adjoined a debtor's prison in Southwark. What was the prison called? The Fleet. It's called the King's Bench Debtor's Prison. Yeah. Um, however, Lena, you have no passes and you've scored 12 points. <laughs> and our next contender, please. And your name is? Tricia Blatherwick. Your occupation? A management consultant. And your chosen subject? The life and art of Gerhard Richter. A German artist born in 1932 who uses a camera as well as a paintbrush. Two minutes on him, starting now. In which town did Richter work as a stage set painter before he first studied at the Academy of Fine Arts in his hometown of Dresden in 1951? Zittau. Yes. What term did Richter use in the title of a 1963 exhibition to describe his version of pop art that uses images of everyday commodities? Capitalist realism. Yes. Richter escaped from East Germany in 1961 and settled in a West German city where he enrolled at the Art Academy. Which city? Dusseldorf. Yep. What is the title of the 1962 painting chosen as the first entry in his catalogue raisonné? He said, I wanted to make a fresh start after my work in East Germany. Table. Yep. What name is given to the series of 31 monotype prints that Richter produced in 1957 that show some of his earliest experiments with abstraction? Elba. Yes. On which Mediterranean island did Richter spend two weeks in 1968 where he took a large number of photographs that resulted in five landscape paintings? Corsica. Yes. What is the title of his large sculpture with movable parts that was indirectly inspired by the work of Marcel Duchamp and was first exhibited in 1967? 
Seven panes of glass? Four panes of glass. <laughs> what name did Richter give to the ongoing project he first made public in 1972, in which he organises the visual material he accumulated over the years into a series of chronological and thematic panels? Atlas. Yes. Which London gallery staged Richter's first solo exhibition in Britain in 1979? Whitechapel. Yes. Since 1980, Richter has used a large object made of perspex and wood to apply and spread paint in many of his large abstract paintings. What is the object? Squeegee. Yes. What was the professional name of the fellow East German artist, Peter Eisterkamp, who became a close friend and collaborator of Richter? Blinky Palermo. Yep. Which 1988 photorealist portrait shows Richter's daughter in an unusual pose, turned with her face pointing away from the viewer? Betty. Yes. In the early 1980s, he produced a series of photo paintings that contrasted with the gigantic abstracts he was working on. In those paintings, he used skulls and what other objects? Candles. Candles is absolutely right. No passes, Tricia. You have 12 points. And our next contender, please. And your name is? Joe Moody. Your occupation? Sales coordinator. And your chosen subject? 44 Scotland Street series. Alexander McCall Smith's series of novels about the people who live in a fictional Edinburgh street. Two minutes on it, starting now. What name has the domineering Irene Pollock given to the parental task of bringing up her firstborn son? It's also the title of the 11th book in the series. The Bertie Project. Yep, the retired lawyer, Ramsay Dunbarton, is sitting for a portrait when he suddenly dies while he's telling a slightly risque anecdote. Who's painting the portrait? Angus Lordy. Yep. Big Lou, the modest and popular owner of the coffee bar, comes from a town on the eastern coast of Scotland. Which town? Arbroath. Yep. Irene decides to leave her family to study for a PhD with a professor who bears a remarkable resemblance to her second son, Ulysses. What's his name? Dr Hugo Fairbairn. Yes. What was the surname of the anthropologist Domenica MacDonald's first husband? He was electrocuted at his generating station in Kerala. Vargis. Yep. What is the name of the bar just around the corner from Scotland Street that is happy to serve the portrait painter Angus Lordy's dog, Cyril, with a bowl of stout? The Cumberland Bar. Yep. Which college does Bertie bitterly regret bluffing his way into after he discovers that rugby, the sport he was so looking forward to playing, is actually a violent nightmare. Watson's. Yep. Matthew gets trapped behind a door marked staff only in a bookshop when he tries to stop his former English teacher from seeing him with what novel? Fifty Shades of Grey. Yes. What is the name of the fictional character invented by Bertie's grandmother Nicola? He earns his living through prize money won at various Highland games. Fursey McPherson, the Scottish Ye person. Yes. What is the title of the recurring character whom Bertie's father Stuart addresses as Your Grace when he meets him for the first time at a Masonic initiation ceremony. Uh, the Duke of Johannesburg. Yep. The Glaswegian gangster Lard O'Connor's unfortunate death outside Big Lou's coffee bar leaves Matthew in possession of a portrait by Rayburn. Who is the subject of the painting? Robert Burns. Yep. What object used to stir porridge do Bertie and his friend Ranald McPherson find in the grounds of Abbotsford? They're told it once belonged to Mary Queen of Scots. A spurtle. A spurtle. What part of the gallery owner Matthew's anatomy does the dog Cyril find absurdly tempting? It's ankles. Yes. What is the name of the order for services to the Italian state? that Cyril is recommended for after he detects drugs in a bag at Pisa Airport. Good, good dog's order. Oh, uh, your very last so one well. as well. <laughs> I know, everyone a winner. The correct answer is Carne Cavaliere. You have, Joe, 13 points. <laughs> And our final contender, please. And your name is? Kit Lane. Your occupation? Graphic designer. And your chosen subject? Alexander Hamilton. One of the founding fathers of the United States, of course, first Secretary of the Treasury. Two minutes on him, starting now. 
What is the name of the collection of essays written by Alexander Hamilton in collaboration with James Madison and John Jay to promote acceptance of the American Constitution? The Federalist Papers. Yes. In what city did he marry Elizabeth Schuyler during a rare period of leave from military service in December 1780? Albany. Yep. Hamilton directed his pamphlet, A Full Vindication of the Measures of the Congress, against a clergyman who wrote under the pseudonym a Westchester farmer. What was his real name? Samuel Seabury. Yes. With which 23-year-old woman did Hamilton have an affair that led to him being blackmailed by her husband? Mariah Reynolds. Yes, who was a British writer on economics who published the Universal Dictionary of Trade and Commerce that Hamilton studied during his time as George Washington's aide-de-camp? Malachi Pathelswaite. Yes, Hamilton and his friend Robert Troop joined a society in 1785 that aimed to promote what major issue of American politics? Slavery. Yes, the abolition of slavery. What is the name of the Attorney General who drafted an opinion for George Washington that declared Hamilton's plans for a Bank of the United States to be unconstitutional? Aaron Burr. Uh, Randolph, which statesman did Hamilton accuse in 1792 of being the declared opponent of almost all of the important measures which had been devised by the government, even though the person in question was the head of one of its principal departments? Thomas Jefferson. Yes. Which assistant of the Treasury helped Hamilton draft the 1790 report on manufactures? Hamilton later described him as too cunning to be wise. Oliver Walcox. Tench Cox. What name is given to the outbreak of violence in the 1790s in Western Pennsylvania over a specific feature of Hamilton's excise policy? The Whiskey Rebellion. Yep. What position did Hamilton hold in the army during Washington's renewed period of command after 1798? Major General. Yes, or Inspector General. What was the name of Hamilton's cousin and guardian who provided him and his brother James with a home on the Caribbean island of St. Croix for a brief period? Uh, Peter Lytton. Yep. At what siege did he command forces in a successful attack on the British redoubt number 10 during the Revolutionary War? Yorktown. Yes. Aaron Burr killed Hamilton in a duel after Hamilton made insulting remarks in Burr's campaign to become the governor of New York. Which small town in New Jersey was the location for the duel? We're Hawken. Is correct. No passes, Kit. You have scored 12 points. Thank you very much. Now it's that time when we invite all our contenders back into the studio together this time. So this is the general knowledge round. Two and a half minutes of questions this time, and if there's a tie at the end of it, then the person with the fewer passes is the winner. And if they're tied on passes as well, there will be a tie break. And do remember, the contenders don't, at this stage, know what each other have scored. So, for everyone at home, let's have a look at all the scores. Let's ask the first of our contenders to return to the black chair. Who happens to be Lena? And uh, it can now be revealed that you have 12 points to start with. And this is your two and a half minutes of general knowledge questions beginning now. What colour are the 50 stars on the American flag? White. Yes. In 1985, who became the youngest winner of the Wimbledon men's singles title? Pass. What term for an intermediate story of a building, especially one between the ground and first floors, comes from the diminutive of the Italian for middle? Mezzanine. Yes. Which London theatre, it opened in Argyle Street in 1910, is best known for variety shows. In 1930, it hosted the first of its many royal variety performances. The Palladium. Yes. What branch of Islam regards the first four caliphs as the Prophet Muhammad's true successors and is the largest group within that religion? Shia? No, Sunni. Hattie McDaniel became the first African-American performer to win an Academy Award for her role in a classic 1939 film. What was it? Gone with the Wind? Yes. Which distinguished playwright created the 2018 crime drama Collateral? It explores immigration and Britain's institutions. John Hare. David Hare. In music, which major key has no sharps or flats? F. C major. In which Staffordshire Cathedral City was the lexicographer Dr Samuel Johnson born in 1709? Litchfield. Yes. In 1935, who devised a thought experiment about the fate of a cat in a box to highlight some of the conceptual problems posed by quantum physics? Schrodinger. Yep. In which country is the ancient ruined city of Angkor, famed for its temple complexes of Angkor Wat and Angkor Tom? 
Cambodia. Yes. The name of what semi-solid food item made from milk acted on by bacteria comes from the Turkish for thick or dense. Yogurt. Yes. Dan Brown's 2017 novel Origin is the fifth to feature which Harvard professor of symbology? James Brown. Robert Langdon. The soundtrack album of a film musical began an 11-week run at number one in the UK charts in January 2018. Which film? Pass. Which 16th century Italian architect gave his name to the classical style of architecture introduced into England by Inigo Jones? Palladio. Yes. Who said during the 1984 American presidential election, I will not make age an issue, I am not going to exploit my opponent's youth and inexperience? Reagan? Yes. Which member of the Crow family native to Britain has distinctive blue wing patches, blue eyes and a street crest? J. Yes. Which Tsar introduced a tax on beards in 1698 as part of his campaign to make Russia more European? Peter the Great. Peter the Great is correct. You had uh, two passes, Lena. That um, soundtrack album came from The Greatest Showman and the youngest winner of Wimbledon singles titles was Boris Becker. You have a total of 24 points. And now Trisha, again, please. And uh, Trisha, you uh, also start out with 12 points. And as you know, the score now to beat is 24. Here we go. Fettuccine, linguine and vermicelli are types of what Italian foodstuff? Pasta. Yep, a touch of class in 1975 and Basil and the Rat in 79 were the first and last episodes of a classic television comedy series. Which one? Yes, the works of which novelist who was born in northern Rhodesia in 1933 fall generally into the Courtney, the Ballantine and the Ancient Egyptian series? I don't know. Pass. What type of continental beer was first successfully made in Britain in the North Wales town of Wrexham in a brewery founded by German immigrants in the 1880s? Fruit beer? Lager. In what ancient city now in Turkey was St Paul born in about 4 BC? His original name was Saul. Carthage? Tarsus. Which Australian-born soprano made her operatic debut in Brussels in 1887 as Gilda in Verdi's opera Rigoletto? Kiri Takanoa. Dame Nelly Melba. Verge and lever are two types of regulating device known as an escapement that are found in what everyday item? Kettle. A clock or a watch. In which sea is Tortola, the largest of the British Virgin Islands? Caribbean. Yes. For which 1950 film were Anne Baxter, Betty Davis, Celeste Holm and Thelma Ritter all nominated for Oscars? Who's Afraid of Virginia Woolf? All About Eve. What is the name of Olivia Stewart in Twelfth Night who's persuaded to wear yellow stockings and cross garters because he thinks that is what she wants him to do? Malvolia. Yes. A swimming pool in California became one of the favourite themes of a British artist born in Bradford in 1937. Which artist? David Hockney. Yes. The European cycling trio of Grand Tours consists of the Tour de France, the Vuelta a España and what other race? No, I uh, pass. What paper size takes its name from the jester's headwear once shown on its watermark? Pass. Sharpness, one of Britain's most inland ports, stands on which river estuary? Humber. Seven. What relation was James II to Charles II, whom he succeeded to the throne in 1685? Nephew. Brother. Which country's largest banks, the Kauting, Landsbanki and Glitnir, were put under national control in 2008 in the wake of the global financial crisis? Greece. Iceland. What is the name of the giant American frog that emits a bellow reminiscent of the call of cattle? It's a voracious predator and attempts have been made to eradicate it in Britain. Bullfrog. Yes. What command does the Speaker of the House of Commons use to gain control of unruly MPs during debate? Order. Order, order, yes, exactly. You had three passes. The paper size takes its name from the jester's headwear. It is a fool's cap. Uh, and it course. used to show a fool with a cap. Yeah. The other country in that um, the European cycling tour, Grand Tours, uh, Giro Italia. And uh, Wilbur Smith was the novelist born in northern Rhodesia. You have a total, Tricia, now of 19 points. Thank you. Kit again, please. And Kit, you also start out with 12 points. 24. Still the score to beat, though. 
here we go. What Australian Aboriginal hunting weapon, famous for returning when it's thrown, has an elbow, a trailing edge and a leading edge? Boomerang. Yep. The three chalk outcrops known as the needles stand at the western tip of which of the British Isles? Ireland. Isle of Wight. What word that means an emotional shock that may have long-lasting effects comes from the Greek for a wound? Trauma. Yes. Who is depicted crossing the Alps with his army in a snowstorm in a painting by J.M.W. Turner that was first exhibited in 1812? Hannibal. Yes. What meat is traditionally layered with potatoes and onions to make Irish stew? Beef. No, mutton or lamb. The first historical records of a famous religious relic occurred in about 1350 when it is said to be in the possession of a French knight, Geoffrey de Charny. What relic? The Holy Grail. Turin Shroud. The last Tudor, published in 2017, is the most recent novel in the Plantagenet and Tudor series, written by which author? Philippa Gregory. Yes. In which 1999 film do three American soldiers, played by George Clooney, Mark Wahlberg and Ice Cube, search for Iraqi gold at the end of the First Gulf War? The men who start goats. Three kings. At what racket sport did the Australian Jeff Hunt become the first World Open champion in 1976? Tennis. Squash. The Spanish Bishop of Urgell and the President of France are the honorary co-princes of a small landlocked country. Which one? Luxembourg. Andorra. The amount of pigment in what part of the eye determines its colour? Iris. Yes. What is the name of the former naval officer who wrote The Children of the New Forest, which is regarded as a classic of children's literature? Pass. Who was the lead singer with the group Culture Club? Boy George. Yes. In what century was England ruled by only three kings, John, Henry III and Edward I? Twelfth. Thirteenth. An American-born composer and conductor who married the actress Jean Boat in 1970 collaborated with Paul McCartney on the Liverpool Oratorio in 1991. Who is he? Carnegie. Carl Davis, which fictional detective is played by Johnny Lee Miller in a modern-day New York City setting in the television series Elementary? Sherlock Holmes. Yes. What new world animal has the scientific name Memphitis Memphitis, a reference to the foul smell it releases as a defence mechanism? Skunk. Yes. In 1957, Kwame Nkrumah became the first Prime Minister of a newly independent country. What country? Ghana. Yes. Which British aeronautical engineer's designs include the R-100 airship, the Wellington bomber and the swing wing technology later used in the Tornado fighter? Boeing. No. Barnes Wallace is the correct answer. You had one pass. Captain Marriott. Frederick Marriott is the name of that formal naval officer who wrote Children of the New Forest. You've scored, Kit, total of 21 points. Thank you. And finally, Joe, again, please. And, uh, Joe, you broke the mould in the first round because you got 13 against everybody else getting 12. Now, though, the score is the same to beat, and that is 24. Let's see how you do. Here we go. What name is given to the scoring of three goals in a football match or the taking of three wickets in successive balls in a game of cricket? Hat trick. Yes. Which small stoned fruit that's been grown in Kent since the 16th century has varieties such as Morello and Stella? Cherry? Yep. What name is given to the main body of a church which extends from the entrance to either the transepts or the chancel? The nave? Yes. What was the title of the lunchtime entertainment programme broadcast direct from factory canteens that began in 1941 as a boost to wartime production and continued on BBC Radio until 1964? Dinner, ladies. Workers' Playtime. Who stars opposite Dudley Moore as Linda, the girl Arthur eventually marries in the films Arthur and Arthur Two on the Rocks? Marilyn Monroe. Eliza Minnelli. In which European country did the Charles Cronin Bridge open in 2017? It's the world's longest pedestrian suspension bridge, nearly 500 metres long. Germany. Switzerland. What's the shape of the symbols attached to lines on a weather map that indicate a cold front? Triangles. Yeah. Silver Finn by Charlie Higson is the first in a series of books he wrote about the youthful adventures of which secret agent? Just William. James Bond. In which <laughs> national park does a miniature railway run from Ravenglass on the Irish sea coast to the village of Boot in Eskdale? Lake District. Yep. Sir Ronald Ross won the Nobel Prize for Physiology in 1902 for his work on what disease spread by mosquitoes? Malaria. Yep. What is the name of the sign normally made up of two numbers, one above the other, that is placed after the clef at the beginning of a piece of music? <sighs> Fraction. Time signature. Which city hosted the Olympic Summer Games for the first time in 1908 and then again in 1948 and 2012? 
Athens. London. What is the name of the heroine of a Thomas Hardy novel who's courted by farmer Boldwood but marries the dashing Sergeant Troy and later the humble shepherd Gabriel Oak? Tess? No, Bathsheba Everdeen. In 1189, the draper Henry Fitzalwin became the first holder of what civic office? Mayor of London. Yes, Lord Mayor of London. Which brother and sister singing duo reached number two in the UK with Yesterday Once More in 1973? Carpenters? Yes. Which amphibian has three species native to Britain, the smooth, palmate and great crested? Newt. Yes. Who became France's youngest president when he won the May 2017 election? Oh, what's his face? Um... You'll have to do something quickly. You're yeah. out of time. I yeah. think I'll have to take it. Sarkozy. Apart. It was him before. Now, I well, know. I can tell you, it was Emmanuel Macron. That's him. Yes, Trump. that's yes. him. Just two points in it, Joe. You scored 22 points, which means that Lena has won. Stay close to the end. Let's have a look at all the scores. In fourth place, 19 points. Trisha, third place, 21 points. Kit, second place, 22 points. Joe, first place, 24 points. Lena, and she goes through to the semi finals. If you would like to be a contender in the next series, do go to our website, bbc.co.uk stroke mastermind, and you can follow us on Twitter at Mastermind Quiz. And do join us again next time for more masterminds. Thanks for watching. Goodbye. <laughs> <laughs>